Hello, comrades. This is Zareth. I am back finally for another video here. Um, what took me so long to get another one down here? I'm not really sure. Um, I had actually w started working on a couple of ones before, and then some things got changed around in F3, and then I just kind of put it to the wayside. But uh, I, I am back with another video. Uh, my original one I posted way back in August. You can look for it on uh, my channel. I think it's called F3 Getting Started. And it, I did it back when Altus was not even released yet. Uh, but it still pertains for the most part. Uh, things have changed in F3 since then. But, you know, for getting started it still applies. I might go back and and redo it at some point here. But this what I'm focused what I'm focused on today is gear. And the reason is it seems like people have a little bit of issues giving um the right the loadouts they want to people or modifying the gear uh to suit their missions or play style. Uh okay, so first things first, um if you're watching this you might be a little bit familiar with F3. If not, again, uh, you can go to um, the wiki, and I'll have a link to this, of course, in the description. Go to downloads, download your copy. I'm not going to go over setting it up. It's in my other video, but just wanted to remind you. Uh, also, if you ever have any, you know, questions on anything, check this out. It's real in depth. I know Fur and Wolf and Swan and others. Work pretty really hard to get this up, and then of course you know we all know heads the brains behind everything, right? Kidding. All right. So I've got this pulled up in my MP missions folder 309A. This is the latest version. So let's back up. Oh, I already actually already got all this pulled up. So gear is called in the description. .ext and something called config functions and it is called right here warning do not remove or disable this block of code I bet head spelled that kidding uh, this is critical to the assigned gear scripts and many others so yeah don't touch this unless you know what you're doing but I'm just showing you this here this is where the gear is called it is also on each unit and this is kind of where you can customize it a bit. So this is actually handling uh, grouping the units together, which kind of goes in, hand in hand with the name or name tags, I guess. I'm not sure about name tags, but uh, getting ahead of myself. But uh, markers, yeah, sorry, markers. And this one right here is your gear. And if you notice, one little important part right here is the CO. Uh, each unit has their own loadout based on their class. So we have CO, these are going to be your medic, this is M. And we'll, and we'll go over this again shortly. Um, FTL is your fire team leader. And this is using the platoon structure that Folkarps uses. And uh, okay, so let's 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 back up there. Just wanted to show you that. So what this is doing is calling this file here, the function focus on gear, which is on your F common down here function focus on gear right here another thing to note in future releases I believe they we they are going to if you open up the F folder you start noticing that they have the cache which is new um, in this release um, common holds most of the core files and you have server uh, which handles some server side stuff and then uh, head spectator script uh, <clears throat> I believe the initial goal is to possibly have a folder for the gear stuff and the briefing stuff so that it's easier to find. Right now you kind of have to filter through all all these files. Um, <clears throat> but it's not too bad once you get familiar with it. Okay, so yeah, th this is just calling it. This is, All this is doing is just checking your fa the player's faction and then assigning them one of these these files. So if you are Blue 4 or NATO... You're gonna get the NATO file. If you are FIA, you're gonna get the FIA gear uh, file. Op4, CSET, 
and for AAF. Um, right, so I've already got these files all pulled up here, but I will show you where those are as well. Let's see, down here, I think, yeah, bulk assign gear, all the assigned gear stuff. So here, here's actually where the gear for each faction is assigned in these files. So let's actually go into one and, and look at it. So we'll just do FIA. Why not? All right, remember that uh, little CO and medic and FTL that I was mentioning earlier? These are all the defined loadouts, and they've got a, we've got a nice little, you know, uh, cheat sheet up here at the top. Uh, so whatever you place in the unit right here, I could change this to medic if I wanted to, or any class, FTL, it will change their loadout accordingly. So I guess real quick I'll show you where that is handled. It's way down here. And these are your loadouts. So here's your CO case. And if you wanted to change the gear or how much of something that a play, or the commander is going to get, you would do it here. Uh, but we'll get into that more in a second. So, I mean, but just to show you, this is where all this stuff is being handled. So, for example, uh, the commanders are going to get GPSs and binoculars. Same with FTL. Your regular riflemen are not. Uh, then you've got your automatic rifleman. He's going to get the AR weapon and the AR mags. And, um, whereas your RAT, your RAT is your AT rifleman. He's going to get the. Uh, sorry, he's going to get the um, RAT mag with the the RAT, which is the uh, rocket launcher. Sorry. Okay, so let's let's back up and kind of just break this down because I tend to ramble and I'm trying to make this video as short as possible if I possibly can here. Uh, all right, so what this top section is doing is defining your class names and something really easy to look at. So underscore rifle, that is the basic TRG rifle for the um, FIA class and that's the class name it's already in there for you but you know if you wanted to change that to say CSATS Cataba you could go over here and copy and paste that over there and then you would have to change the ammo as well um, in these fields so this is basically defining your regular rifle your just base standard rifle with its mags and its tracer mags and then you've got the fourth variable <clears throat> which is the attachments and you can set your attachments here as well uh, <clears throat> so you could change this to the hammer optic or whatever you know as, as long as you have the class name you can change it and then you could change this to a flashlight and of course you could add a suppressor if you wanted as well I'm not going to change that to that because I don't actually know the class names offhand and I'm not going to waste your time to go and looking them up. So uh, that is something you can do on your own. Class names are you can just you can Google them or you can go look in the config file. I mean, class names aren't too hard to find. Uh, okay, so yeah, and, and then if you don't want them to have any attachments, you can always just comment this out. I wouldn't recommend deleting something in case you want it later in the mission or something like that. But you can always just to put two forward slashes to comment something out, and it won't take effect. So as we go down, we got our carbine and our same thing, uh, the carbine version of this with its respective ammo, your SMG, uh, diver weapons here, it has its, its underwater magazines as well as the regular ammo, if you wanted to have some divers in your mission. Uh, GL rifle, this is the ones with underbell grenade launcher, so in this case there's an extra an extra uh, line which is the GL mag which is your HE shells and so that's just <clears throat> defining that there and then your smokes for the the grenade launchers are defined here and I believe there's more colors in this and you can always add those if you wanted uh, flares uh, let's see and then you, your pistol 
with your pistol mag. It, th this should obviously at this point be getting should be understanding this a little bit. Uh, all we're doing here is defining the weapons that all the weapons you want this faction to use, along with its uh, magazines. <clears throat> Uh, and you can, like I said, you can change these to any class name you want. Just make sure, you know, it's really helpful to have a program like Notepad++ or this one so you can kind of see if you mess something up. Like, for example, if you forgot a quotation mark, all oh, my text changes and lets me know that I screwed up. And uh, it, it's just, it really helps with uh, doing something of this caliber. So as we go down, grenades, mini grenades, uh, smoke grenades, first aid kits, med kits, goggles, or envy goggles, chem lights, and your backpacks, all defined. And I've got a nice little uh, comment showing you how much these carry and how much they weigh. Uh, and then for unique role-specific equipment, uh, your actual automatic rifle are going to fall under here. So you have your, your LMG Mark 200 for FIA with its respective ammo. Uh, the medium MG has got the Zephyr, which is the 7.62 uh, machine gun in game. I think it's the only 7.62 machine gun in game right now. So it's really the only option for a medium MG at this time, even for Kato. So that's, maybe they'll fix that at some point. Uh, okay, and then your launcher. So I was mentioning in the rat, in the rat mags earlier. So you got for FIA, they they have the RPG 32s. Uh, I think NATO's probably going to be the only one with the PCMLs. Let's see. Or the in-law. Yep. I don't think AAF has it either. Oh, they do. Okay. And but you could change that if you want. Me personally, I like. I don't like the auto lock on launchers. So usually if for any player stuff, I have the RPG-32, or uh, in my case, in my group, we use a lot of mods, so there's we have more options as far as the launchers go. And oh, oh, of course, you know, there's also mortar equipment that you can set up as well, and the medium AT teams, which is the... Uh, wait a minute. I'm not. I think this is just right, the regular in-law, but you could put that as to be the compact Titan as well if you wanted to. <clears throat> and then uh, engineer stuff. So I spent way too much time going down that. That's obviously something you can look at and changes to your heart's desire. Okay, so let's get on to clothes and uniforms. Okay, so this is new in this version. Uh, see how there are multiple uniforms defined here. FIA, if, if I'm sure everyone's noticed, has multiple different uniforms and vests and etc. Like the, all the stock units look the same, but in the old F3, whenever they spawned in uh, as FIA, they all looked the same, unless you made several of these uh, different class types. But now. Uh, you just list all the different uniforms you potentially want them to use. And uh, I'm in F assigned gear close. You can see that they added the select random function. So what this does is it just reads through all of these and randomly picks one. So you'll have lots of variety potentially or supposedly. <clears throat> and so you can set your helmets and your rigs and all that good stuff here and really pay attention to this stuff now if you uh, this should all be for the most part right uh, I actually have this is my first time looking at this version actually um, I haven't uh, transferred all the changes over to um, my mission jet uh, so but with the new changes in the latest uh, stable patch remember all the armor values got changed this should all be okay but remember that uh, some of the vests have no armor value and you're just going to get one-shotted pretty much from anything you get um, hit by it <clears throat> in stock armor 3, vanilla armor 3. Uh, but if you get up to the heavier armors, you have a little bit more protection. And, you know, the helmets also help a little bit too. So uh, I don't think these have these guys have helmets, so they're screwed. 
Uh, so yeah, same stuff for divers, pilots, and your crewmen for your vehicles. So, um, and then the closed stuff is being called here. That's that file I just switched to. Oop, wrong one. This one. So it's being called here. Uh, so when you see stuff like this, don't, I wouldn't touch it. It's, this is just where the important stuff's happening. Um, so yeah, this stuff don't touch. And then let's come down to gear addition. This is removing everything and then re-adding it. Uh, so it's adding the one ba uh, first aid kit. Uh, it's adding their MVGs and I don't know why this is being called twice. Nope, oh, it's removing them here. That's right. Sorry. Ignore me. Uh, and then, you know, you can mess with this stuff too if you wanted to. Uh, if you wanted to give everybody GPSs. Uh, this part is the back pads. I'm not going to go too much into this, but the way this basically w works is let's click preview. Parameters. If you are the admin of your server or you're hosting a game, you have an option, the option to click the parameter button and change it. So backpack, it's right here. There are three options, off, light, and heavy. So all this is is defining those loadouts. For the medic, there's only two options because they have to have the med kit. They have to have, uh, they have to have a backpack at all times to carry this stuff. Same with the um, engineers and the AT guys. They have to have a you have to have a backpack for a rocket to fit into it. Um, you can't carry a rocket on your vest like you could in, I guess, Arma 2, but Arma 2's system is a little different. Anyway, uh, so you can change all that here. So um, for medics, a little different, just light and heavy. Because um, if you see this equal to or less than one thing, that just means that uh, they will always have a backpack. Uh, but in this case, for the uh, case G, this handles CO, D, uh, Deputy Commander, Squad Lead, FTL, and Grenadier, most likely, and or anybody with a G backpack. Um, they're going to get this gear for nothing, for light loadout, for heavy loadout, and you can change this however you want. Uh, same with your AR and your AAR, your RAT. Rifleman, Carbine, MMG, MMG Assistant, Medium AT, Engineers, SMG, Diver. Okay, out of the backpack. It's, it's, it's all going to start repeating itself here. But let's get down to the loadouts, the, the real meat of this. And let's just start with Commander. I, I might go through a couple of these and then I'll be done because we're already pushing 20 minutes here. And I don't want to talk your ear off all day. Because this this really isn't uh, too bad once once you've kind of had a look at it. All right, so obviously there's lots of ad magazines here. Notice that the commander has a GL rifle ad weapon here, but all the ammo is listed before it. That's because if you want this rifle to start loaded, you have to load you have to have the uh, ammo before it. So remember above we defined all of this stuff, the GL rifle mag. So it's it's helps because you don't have to type out the class name every time. You just type in this variable and uh the amount of ammo you want for it. So this is seven, so oh you know that's not enough ammo for you. So oh, nine. Now they have nine. There you go. That easy. Oh, you want them to have more tracer mags? Okay, they got four. There you go. Alright. Pretty simple. Pretty simple stuff, guys. Uh GL mag would be your um, the HE grenades. If my memory serves me correctly, it's failing at the moment. But yeah, that's that's the HE grenade. So if you want if you want them to have more of those, yeah, let's just give them more stuff. But you, keep in mind though that you got to pay attention to the backpack area as well because. Some of these guys get extra stuff from their even with the with their low no backpack uh, setting. Like for example, here SMG is still getting two extra mags, a grenade, and a couple smoke grenades, even though there's no backpack. So you you do need to pay attention to this. Like if your ammo is not matching up to whatever you put down here, uh, I mean, is it if you really wanted them with no backpack to get nothing extra? I mean, 
you can either comment all this out or just remove it. Uh, let's just comment it out. It's a safe thing to do. So if you did that, then this SMG guy wouldn't have any extra stuff with no backpack. But if you gave the everybody light loadouts, they would have more stuff. <clears throat> and keep in mind, you, you will probably have to tailor this to what you want. This may be way too much ammo for you. So you can go in and just fine tune this to be as little ammo as you want. Uh, okay, and I mentioned earlier that also the okay, let me back up. Grenades, mini grenades, right here. Uh, smoke grenades um, can define all that here. You can add more grenades if you want. Uh, let's see. Let's. I think there. I'm going off of memory, but I think red is one. Up, that's the find up there. So you could add in the red grenades too as an addition. Uh, and you, you want to give them three of those. There you go. Uh, like I said in the in the the base F3 loadout, only the leadership elements get uh, binoculars and GPSs, and that is called here. If you wanted to add that to um, just a regular rifleman or something like that, you would just copy and paste that. Um, to that unit. Okay, so yeah, if you wanted to add uh, binocular, I'm sorry, I had to cut the previous section out because I my dog started barking in the background. Um, yeah, so okay, so you copy this and paste it to anywhere or, or another loadout. So let's just give it to the AAR. So if you wanted to give it to them, boom, they've got binoculars and a GPS now. Uh, if you wanted to change their backpack, uh, you would go up and look at the cases and you wanted to give them some automatic rifleman ammo. There you go. That I'm, basically what I'm trying to say is this is this is pretty easy and you get once you kind of mess around with it, uh, you can customize this however you want. This is not set in stone. The, the whole purpose of this framework is for you to dabble and learn and you know get your feet wet and some a little bit of scripting in the, the Armiverse. So okay let's, let's see what else we have here. Um, same thing with pistols. Like, or any weapon you add though you have to put the magazines first so that the weapon will start loaded. Um, So yeah, I mean everybody's gonna look similar. Uh, the team leader's gonna have a little bit more gear than just your standard assistant automatic rifleman or your automatic rifleman. Uh, okay, Another, one thing to note about uh, the rifleman AT, the AT rifleman, is that notice how everybody else the backpack is at the bottom. In this case, because the rocket has to go into the backpack, and the way the armor loads the gear is it puts the round in the backpack first, then loads the launcher um, right as the mission's starting. Um, it happens so fast that you don't even see it happening. But that's how it happens. If this backpack was loaded at the end, you would lose the round because the ammo can't fit anywhere else. It doesn't load directly into it. So keep that in mind with launchers. You have to have the backpack uh, defined before you add um, any of the big ammo. And I think that's really one of the only stipulations here um, that's going to be a little bit different. Everything else is going to follow the format of put your ammo first, then your gun. Ammo, gun. Um, I can't, I'm not seeing anything else here to really go over. I, I would just advise. You know, highly suggest going through this stuff and uh, picking it apart yourself and seeing what changes you can do. Obviously, I only went over FIA. I mean, all these weapons are going to be different per faction. So you have four factions to go through and change up. You know, and if you're using mods and you want to change them to a different weapon, then go right ahead. Like, you want to give the NATO all uh, U.S. Army or US Marine weapons like M4s and stuff like that. Whatever mod you're using, put that up here. Put the the cut the mods ammo here as well because it's probably going to use its own ammo. And change all the different uh rifles out with their respective ammo. 
same with the MGs and, and ATs and stuff like that and uh, you should be good to go and if you have have issues I would suggest in your launch file I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of borrow this top spot uh, when in your launch parameters if you put show script errors uh, if there if you mess something up and you have that on when or in your uh, sorry I cannot talk when you launch the game if you have that on it'll show you what you did wrong or give you a hint on where to look to um, which file which line it's really good helpful for debugging and of course don't forget the debugging that's included in F3 that, that could also help you find any issues you're having so hopefully this was very informative and I'm sorry that I ran way past my mark that I was aiming for but Hopefully that explained a little bit of that. Um, I'm going to try to come back and do some more stuff with this. I've just been kind of strapped for time lately, and I haven't had a lot of good opportunities to sit down uh, and do this. Um, I just happen to have some time come up uh, today, so I sat down, did it, got it out of the way. Uh, but yeah, so this is a great framework to get started with, and I mean they try or they do their best to keep. Um, everything as clean as possible for you to learn off of and if you have any questions feel free to hit up the folk arts forums um, leave a comment below uh, I mean there's there's a thread on the the BIS forums um, in the mission in the scripting and editing section um, you can ask a question there and one of us usually see, will see it and answer uh, questions you have uh, and I mean, I think that's about it. I'm probably come back and talk about some of this. You know what? Actually, we'll we'll go over that later. I was gonna say there's uh, some stuff with gear and Acre if you're using Acre, but we can look at that later um, in another video because this is already running too long. So with well, with that, I'm I'm done. Uh, yeah, if questions, ask them. Uh, if you're using it, I, I think Fur wants to know, you know, what groups are using F3 because they like to, you know, get feedback because they can't make improvements on things if they don't know something's wrong or broken or needs improving. So, yeah, let us know, and uh, I will catch y'all later. Um, again, my name is Zareth, and I'll see you later.